First, we we can access uh, topics from uh, from a server that is exporting this from a, a relational database. Uh, let's go back to the client and try and use that. So instead of of using this hard coded Redux reducer that has um, you know these hard coded uh, uh, elements of topic A, B, C, let's go fetch those from the server. So to do that, we're going to have to uh, hook hook up a, uh, a dispatcher, right? And we're going to have to call methods. Uh, we're going to have to do a um, uh, implement one of the component did mount. So to do this, we're going to have to re-implement re this as a class component, right? So let's uh, re-implement this as a class component. So it's topics is going to extend uh, react that component and equal to that, and this is going to uh, render and return this content right here, right? And we're just going to paste it in here instead, okay? And we're not going to. So we need the topics as a as a props. So this will be this dot props dot topics, okay? So this is equivalent to just what we just had two seconds ago, right? But it's implemented as a class as opposed to as a function. If I go back, it should render identical to before. There we go. So we have exactly the same thing. The only reason we switched over because we need to override the component did mount. Yes, the life cycle. So let's do that. 